Yeah, okay, 31st January, just taking around with some meters. I'm just doing an accuracy test on these meters. Um, just a rough uh, bestie setup, but it's all right, transformator of Ariac. What I like is these old multimeters. They are so simple because you don't need batteries for the bloody things. It's the best things. I haven't used this thing for years, but it works perfect, 40 amps. And we spin these meters up. I'm gonna clean the covers up. I'll let them cook for a while so they have a warm up period. And then uh, I'll try to line up the decimals and uh, let them click over. And I'll insert a an, uh, still for Wayne. I got. I saw one of these meters, the S three zero nine dot twos, but it had pointer dials on it, two eight as well. And uh, I'm trying to get hold of that one. It's still in a shop, so I'll do my best to try to get hold of that. So yeah, needed to do a metering video. Um, the wasps here are very quiet. I got no wasps in the gun. They're scared of me. So I'll do my best to get some wasp footage uh, this year. But yeah, yeah. Look at the weather. Star sky is just stunning. Quick halfway reading here. It's almost seemed to be in sync. No, 166.6 revolutions per kilowatt hour. Test rig is still activated at night. In the new sodium colors. A quick reading here. Turning over happily. And the same gear meters and the same amount meters. I have to turn up a little bit. We've got 50 amps now. And we've got the electronic meter here pulsing away. Test run start 65012.9942422.9 and dial test. It's the dial flip over. There, click. There we go. 3.0. Yeah, 3.0. This meter is 0.1 higher than the other one, so that is showing 0.1, and this is 0.18, so nearly yeah, 0.1 units higher on this meter. So we'll let it run for a while, and then we'll see what uh, readings should come up with. So the loading is 7.7 .7 kilowatts. Things even on time. Uh, the other codes, let's have a look at that. 237 volts, 34 ampere, 7.7. 7, there we go. I do expect the meter on the left uh, to run a, a little bit higher than the other ones. That's this one because that has to feed the potential calls of these two meters. Potential calls and uh, being measured by the first meter. So we'll see how it's going to perform. And we let this circulate and tickle over for we all and then uh, analyze the readings. It's 3738. Well, it seems to be a step. The middle one is running a little bit fast. Tomorrow, yeah, not much, but a little bit. Zero low, zero high. And this 
one is just about to flip over again. We might as well get a close up on it. I like the flip dials in this thing of ours. Very clever, has the red flag indicator. Point twelve. Yeah, that's still in step. Number one and number three are spot on more or less. And the load at the moment is about uh, you know, twenty-four ampere. That means it's just about to click over. Oh, no, it goes up again. There we go. Zero. That's on a decimal two. That's on a decimal one. Another intermediate reading. Uh, nearly five point zero. Five point one. Got a wall over. I want to see the seven hundred click over here. So we've got one more unit to go. And we're going to work out the error on this meters. Yeah, yeah. Click. There we go. 49,700. We're at a night time reading at the moment. It's uh, nearly 2 o'clock. Sodium light. Actually, beautiful weather at the moment. No wind. Nearly there, that were our start readings, and um, the meters are nearly there. So 0.4 units to go. Now, this is a faster running one of the lot, and then work out roughly percentage. 776, that was 7.6.9. Yeah, they're going pretty good. And then we've got this thing here, 18. So it needs 0.19. Almost there. And this goes up to 0.18. Then uh, we have our 100 kilowatt hours. Ah, oh, come on, you stupid thing. I hate these display meters because they'll roll over when you don't want it. Uh, 1.6, 1.7, and we're nearly there. 1.8. Eight, so turn the variac down. Then we get these readings and we'll plot these out. So that is uh, 2.6. Yeah, that's 3.2 in a bit. And that is uh, 6.7. It's actually pretty good. These meters are well within 1%. So 100 kilowatt hours on the electronic meter. That is 99.7 uh, on the left hand meter. 100.4 kilowatt hours on the middle meter and 99.8 kilowatt hours on the Sangamo. So that's actually really good. Final, final, and final. Just taking the cover off. I just want to try the day night rate version, but I think the call may be open circuit. Um, mechanism register looks good. Uh, call is controlled here by this terminal here on the left, and the uh, return sits on the small neutral screw there at the back, and there's no activation on the device. So I think I'll fiddle around with this. On these two meters, you have to put a jumper in from the bottom terminal to the neutral, and then the top will activate the call, and I'll do a test. Activating the call here, there's no problem. And the same on this device here. Activating the call is no problem, so I just put a little jumper on there. And there's no response on this meter. Yeah, I've armed the call so it's open circuit, but I've forced it in the low rate. I just want to do a dial test on this device here. 
So the meter is on the low right by putting a little wedge in here. The other two meters on the low right and I'll let this percolate for you all. The load is about um, 18 amps, so I guess it up a little bit more. So we've got 20, 25, so I'll get a bit more speed on it. So I'll let this uh, take over for you all. See the reason why the screw is taken out of this meter. Not a low terminal, but that's alright. I'm not planning to use this meter, I'll just keep it as a special for the collection. So the low weight is uh, satisfactory on these meters. Running fine. The part of the end adjust is slots. And um, put it on the video. You know, set for Wayne Boombox Deluxe or Wayne's Electrical. I'll uh, run this uh, COP2 stills with that meter I saw in uh, Tamaranui. And hopefully, I'll manage to uh, get hold of it somehow. So, just uh, have a look at these uh, beauties here S204.16, I think it is. Yeah, just on memory. Okay, and close this off. Final readings on the low right. 0.5.